guys so i'm back with another video and today i just want to talk a little bit about my health um specifically if you can't see it um you probably can the dark spots um that i have on my face i have some you can see it kind of like under my arms too um it's just kind of like all over my body so i just wanted to talk a little bit about that and kind of um explain that to you guys because i'm sure that some of you are probably going to ask questions about what that is or at least it might cross your mind so um back in seventh grade i um, found out that i was insulin resistant um specifically pre-diabetic um so for those of you who don't know what insulin resistance is um it is a condition where basically my blood just doesn't like my the sugars in my body just they don't get processed properly like my body creates too much insulin and my body's not receptive to it so um i'm not diabetic that's one thing i would like to clear up now but i could potentially become diabetic so um just to give you guys a little bit of background um it started out on my neck um let me see if i can get it you guys so it started out like on my neck and it was a lot darker um it's gotten a lot lot darker um previous times but it's gotten a lot better recently because i've been exercising more um so basically my mom noticed my neck looked dirty and she was like you know wash your neck lauren and i was washing my neck and it just wasn't coming off so it actually happened on <laughs> At around midnight on um, that year, um, my mom was up and she was doing some research, trying to figure out what is going on with my neck. Why isn't it coming clean? And she found this um, uh, this skin condition, which is related to insulin resistance. Now, I'm adopted, as many of you probably know. If you guys know anything about me, you probably know that I am adopted. And so, um, when, you know, we knew that, you know, diabetes and stuff is, it just runs in my family. So, um, she took me to the doctor and my doctor was like, yeah, this is like a sign of insulin resistance and the, I don't know, I was so little back then and all I knew was not good kind of thing. So, we got me tested. And I was pre-diabetic at the time. So we made some drastic changes to my diet. Um, I was I started going to the gym with my mom. Um, just like trying to increase my activity level. Because a huge factor in it is um, exercise and diet. Um, but a lot of exercise pretty much. Because exercise is what gets my body to open up to that insulin and get it to the point of where it's not really redirecting it as much. So, it is a skin condition related to that. There's nothing really I can do about it. It probably won't 100% go away, but it will be less the more I exercise. Um, and it's something that I'm pretty self-conscious about. Um... I actually don't usually wear tank tops just because um, I'm very self-conscious about it and I just, I get questions about it sometimes and it just, it makes me uncomfortable. But I wanted to talk about it because it's part of me, it's part of who I am and it's not really something that I can really change permanently. Um, it's not something that I can, you know, get rid of entirely. It's always going to be there a little bit. Um, it's just how much is there is kind of in my control. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. And I don't know if any of you have ever dealt with it. Um, but if you have, let me know because um, I would love to hear from you guys about um, if you've struggled with it and... I know, um, it's not, you know, 
it's not really fun. It's not something I like about myself. It's, I'll be honest, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And it's something I wish I didn't have. Um, but it's there. It's part of me. And that's just something I have to live, live with. And, you know, if you have that too, then I, I get it. I get it if you're self-conscious of it. Um, I would think that anyone who does is probably aware of it and, you know, is a little bit self-conscious about it. But, you know, I could be wrong. Um, so, yeah, that's just what it is. I will post the technical term for it because I can't pronounce it to save my life. Uh, I will post that in the description below. Um, so, yeah, that's that's all for today. I might post another video because um, I am planning to do another video after this. And I feel like I kind of owe you owe it to you guys since this is my first time posting in like forever so um anyways i will see you next time